Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to be showing you the second secret boss fight, or the first, depending on what order you do these in, um, at the Olympic Coliseum. Now like I said in my other video, um, these will be sets of question marks after you defeat the Hades Cup. Uh, like I said also, for me it kind of seems like n no matter which one I pick, which set of question marks, every time I play this game it's always a Sephiroth fight. So I'm always not ready um, to fight him so I back out and then select the other one and it's, you know, the Ice Titan. So it's going to be the gold match. Now, as a side note, this one is also a good way to get a good amount of uh, XP. So, for experience points, this isn't the best method, like I've said in my uh, XP farming videos. If, if you get bored with the Hollow Bastion um, method, you can come do this one, and it's a good thing to take a break with. Um, let me show you real quick. If you're going to do the XP farming method for this, make sure you have tech boosts. You should have either I think it's two or three of these um, so if you don't have this equipped the ice titan will be using attacks like shooting ice crystals at you um, and you deflect those back at him with your guard ability and for everyone deflected you get 25 um, tech points or you know XP so for every tech boost you equip you get an extra 25 per uh, deflected attack so you have one there you have another one right here you should have one yeah one more okay so that's three so if I equip all of these that's gonna be you know a hundred tech points per deflected attack um, so that's a really good way to get a lot of MP because he does that a lot. He shoots out ice crystals at you a lot through this. And sometimes he'll shoot sets of three, uh, five or six. And if you deflect all of those, it's a hundred tech points per crystal deflected. Okay, not per attack, but per crystal deflected. Okay, and that you know brings into my next point. For this boss fight, you're gonna be hurting him quite a bit with his own attacks. Okay, now he does have a lot of attacks. Uh, there is a lot going on. He will shoot the ice crystals at you. He'll create ice spikes that come up out of the ground that you have to kind of dodge those. Um, and then at some point he'll start dropping um, ice boulders on you. So you have to dodge those and dodge the rest of his attacks. Um, and then also he'll be doing two different uh, variations of He'll freeze the arena that you're standing on, the part you're standing on. Um, he'll freeze the ground, and if you walk on it, you'll slip and fall. You know, you'll get hurt. Or if you're caught in it, he'll freeze you in a big block of ice. Um, so it's kind of good to get out of the way when he does that. And then he'll do, do another variation of that where he kind of just freezes you, not the ground. Um, I think you get frozen longer if you get caught in that. So these are just a couple things to watch out for. Um, and one main thing about this fight, stock up on your uh, high potions. I have mega elixirs from where I was fighting Sephiroth. But stock up on your high potions because you will need um, these because you might may run out of MP. Um, Depending on what level you're at, you will probably have to heal a lot because his attacks are so many at a time, so many different attacks, that it's really, really hard to dodge absolutely everything, okay? So you'll need high potions. And um, one tip about this fight, do not use your wind magic. And I will give you an example here in a second when I fight him. Um, but it will turn his ice crystals that he shoots at you. That's his main attack. It'll turn those into huge chunks of ice that you cannot deflect. And they take off a lot more HP. Okay, so if you cast this, 
glide around to where it wears off and then do not use it anymore okay now one other thing too you know and I know I'm adding a lot of stuff to this video if you hear in the background uh, music or noise or anything I am watching my daughter today my wife is out shopping I've got her listening to a playlist of you know freaking Disney songs so if you hear that you know sorry about that but it's the only way to calm the beast <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and show you this I'm gonna try not to talk during this match um, but I'll show you the best way to do this and like I said before um, I am NOT equipping the tech boost abilities so if you're in this for the uh, XP equip those be sure to equip those before this fight and also too another thing about this fight for the XP uh, farmers I think you still get either it's either 500 or 5,000 I'm wanting to say 5,000 for beating him even after defeating him the first time so every time after that you should get 5,000 XP at the end of the battle which is great all right so you have to lock on to him obviously to deflect back at him Now here real quick, I'm going to show you what happens when you use your wind magic. Okay, you see how big those are? Now once you get to this point, once you hurt him enough, he'll kneel down on one knee and that's when you fly over and start using your keyblade on his head. And just also another quick note, um, it'll help too. Uh, take off a huge chunk of HP if you equip um, Ragnarok it's an aerial attack so that way when you jump up you can use that and it takes off a ton of HP so just a quicker way to beat him
and that is how you beat him. <clears throat> like I said, it, it could go a lot faster if you have the Ragnarok um, equipped for whenever he kneels down on one knee. But as far as that, it's a pretty decent way to get a good amount of MP, or uh, sorry, XP. And it, he's not as hard, it's just it takes a while to beat him. Um, and for me, I didn't have to use any high potions because my level is already at 100 and I have a lot of MP. So if you like this video, subscribe, hit the like button. Any comments or questions, leave them down below. And I'll see you in the next one.